This video is brought to you by the Woodshed Guitar Experience presented by Andy Wood. Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we're going to talk about my five favorite guitar amp sims currently. So as we all know, if you're watching this, chances are you probably play guitar, and chances are even better that you probably use some sort of amp sim. I am constantly asked what I'm using all of the time, and to be honest, that is always changing, just depending on, honestly, the day or how I'm feeling or my current mood, but I do have five core plugins that I am currently using, and I'm gonna tell you what they are, and I'm gonna tell you how I use them, and in what situation and why I would choose that particular one. So without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? Favorite plugin number one is Bogren Digital's Amp Knob Rev C. Now, this plugin is about as simple as you can get. It's a single knob, as the name would imply. However, it is one of the finest rectifier plugins ever, one of them. It's basically in my top two favorite rectifier plugins ever. However, this thing's 50 bucks. It's super, super light. Now, when I use this plugin, I use this when I am uh, tracking a DI, when I wanna lay something down, and when I wanna just hear back a distorted guitar tone real quick to make sure I'm capturing my performance correctly. This means I don't have to worry about the particular tone or how it sounds or anything like that. It's gonna sound great. I literally don't ever touch it. I start it up in its default uh, configuration and it's good to go. I also use it for monitoring when I am plugged into my DI box next to me so I can hear back something while I play and track my DIs. Very, very handy. It's 50 bucks. Favorite amp sim number two is Archetype Tom Morello from Neural DSP. Now, this list could easily be all Neural DSP plugins. I have used them all. I own and have purchased most of them at this point. I really like the Tom Morello, which is a fairly new addition to the Neural DSP family because A, it's really, really versatile, but I actually use it for not high gain stuff. And it's also really, really great for uh, guitar sauce stuff in a mix. And basically I use it for overdubs, top lines, octave stuff, melodic stuff, anything that's not rhythm guitar, I use the archetype Tom Morell because it's just so versatile. It's, you know, it's his 800, it's his JCM 800. It has that nice mid range that just cuts through a mix. I don't really have to do much to it. I just love this plugin and uh, at the time of this filming it's $120 <laughs> This video is sponsored by the Woodshed Guitar Experience presented by my dear friend, Mr. Andy Wood. Now the Woodshed Guitar Experience is a four day, three night retreat for guitar players of all kinds, lasting from August 24th to August 27th in good old Crossville, Tennessee. Now this year, if you join the Woodshed Experience, you get to kick it with all sorts of crazy guitar players, including Eric Johnson, Andy Timmons, Brett Mason, Mark Letiri, Andy Wood, of course, Greg Koch, Seth Rosenblum, Wes Little, Daniel Kimbrough, Josh Schilling, and Eli Bishop. Everyone's hanging. There's different levels of packages. I will link to them down below in the description. Go get your Woodshed on and go hang out with Andy. Tell him Fluff sent you. Favorite amp sim number three is the Josh Middleton amp suite from STL Tones. Now, this particular plugin, when I did the original video for this, 
I was blown away and I felt like I was repeating myself and using all the adjectives that one expects to hear when watching any Ampson video, to be honest with you. It feels real, it sounds amazing, and it has this you know hugeness and bigness. It really does. With this plugin, STL Tones really upped their game, in my opinion. This also has an incredible rectifier model as well as Josh's uh, other PV amps. And this thing just sounds unbelievable. And I also use this for, you know, layering, stacking different guitars with other amp sims, or I'll reamp using real amps and then double that with the STL Josh Middleton. This is a fantastic plugin and it's also 120 bucks. Favorite amp sim number four is the ML Sound Lab Rev G. This is a triple rectifier Rev G of Mikos. This thing sounds huge, and honestly, I will use this interchangeably with the Bogren Digital Rev C amp knob plugin, just depending on what I'm feeling. If I want to actually tweak the cab section, because you can't do that on the Bogren uh, plugin because it's just so dead simple. However. If I want to dive in a little bit more and I'm looking for something more specific, then I will grab the Rev G because the Rev G is another great rectifier sounding plugin, but it also has a little bit more bells and whistles as far as effects and you know speaker and mic choice as well. It's just thick, it's not fizzy, and it sits in a mix very, very well. I often grab this plugin when I am just sitting here noodling as well, late at night, winding down, watching TV, or sitting on my couch. This is the plugin that I am using for that. And finally, favorite amp sim number five, is the Ampeg SVT Amp Suite. Now, this is a bass amp suite, and it is by Ampeg, and if anyone knows bass tones, it's Ampeg. I know you guys are gonna say, well, what about Parallax, or what about you know something Neural DSP or something? Those are great too, and I use those a lot. However, the SVT Suite, for me, is a home base. It's where I start with all of my bass tones. There's three different amplifiers. I think there's eight different cabs and a bunch of microphones. And this thing is, is just so complete and the presets are so good, I rarely change anything. I'll just find a preset and then just go with it because the presets are so well done in this amp suite. This is the most, I think, out of any of the plugins on this list. I think this thing costs 150 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I bought it, it's so good. And if you're looking for something that offers everything for bass tones, this is it. I mean, it's Ampeg. And those are my current five favorite amp sim plugins. I will link to them all down below in the description. What do you guys like? What should I be checking out free or not free? Doesn't matter. What should I be checking out? What are I missing? I'll make another one of these. Actually, I might make several of these or you know, make this a regular thing because I'm always looking for awesome sounding and unique amp sim plugins. Let me know what you guys are using and I will see you next time. You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.